guys I'm back with another video and I want to start a eBay's uh, deals and steals type of video I shop a lot on eBay and I have been accumulating a bunch of stuff that I get some pretty good deals on so I want to start piling up these things and do a video and show you guys the deals that I find on eBay and let you know maybe kind of like a little mini review if I have already tried them and let you know if it was worth buying. This first video is going to be 10 items. I have 10 items and I am going to put in the somewhere in the screen the number of the item and then you can find it in the description box and a link to the eBay if it's still on sale eBay to the eBay seller that I purchased it and if I can't find it on the eBay seller that I purchased it I'll try to find it somewhere else so I'm gonna start with the non beauty related items so I bought this um, it's kind of like a arm brace for your cell phone and you're supposed to be able to put your cell phone in here it's kind of like a velcro so you put the cell phone through here it has a little hole in the top for your headphones so i have a galaxy s5 and it does not fit in here i'm not exactly sure which iphone fits in here i can't use this what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna my daughter has a iphone 6 i believe so I'm going to have her try and see if this works for her cell phone. So. Okay, so item number two is this uh, beauty bowl, beauty mixing bowl. It comes with some measuring spoons, a mixing spoon, and a brush. Uh, the reason why I bought this is because I like to kind of mix things, some, you know, mix foundations or, I mean, even though I can use a palette, but... Um, I also like to, if I want to melt a lipstick, I could put it in here, put it in the microwave if I want to put it in the palette or anything like that. And also I have pigments that from MAC, like if you buy the MAC pigments and they're the big ones, I'm going to try to like separate them out into these little jars, cosmetic jars, and um, maybe give them away to, you know, my sister or even sell them if, you know, because you don't go through the MAC or any pigment really so um, I wanted to just separate that out and this could come in handy so um, and if it, it was very inexpensive and it's a nice little tool to have and this is a fairy girl eyebrow pencil that's what it's called it's basically like a pink pencil with white polka dots and this color is in the number five the colors were by numbers and this is more like a dark really dark brown and i tried it once it's really really waxy so it kind of skips a little bit when you try to do your eyebrows but i just wanted to give it a try um i probably won't use it on its own because i mean it, it looks a little patchy to me so I'd probably use this as to shape it out and then kind of fill and maybe fill it and set it with a eyebrow powder but it was worth a shot I think I only paid like 74 cents for this so that's that okay and item number four is this eye magic uh, flash palette and you might think this looks quite familiar because it does look exactly like the makeup forever flash palette it has 12 colors and uh, the 12 colors I believe are exactly the same 12 colors that makeup forever has what I don't know is if the sizes of these are the same like the the, the product amount is the same because I don't have the makeup forever palette and um let's see this one is 70 grams that's what it says 2.46 ounces so i'm not like i said i'm not exactly sure but i mean i thought it was worth trying this out because the makeup forever one i believe is probably it's either a hundred dollars or close to a hundred dollars so it's quite pricey and you know this is something that I mean you can use this in so many different ways, ways but... you can mix to make foundation you can mix to you know tint a foundation 
I mean, there's so many things you can do. Um, I wanted to try it out, and I, in fact, I did actually already use it. I did do a Halloween look, if you want to check that out. And um, I used a few colors, not all of them, but I've used the gold, the white, the yellow, the brown, and the black. And this is what it looks like without the lid. I'm not sure if you can quite see it, but it's... It was a good investment. I mean, it wasn't really an investment. It was only like eleven dollars, so it it was it was worth it. So yeah. that was a good buy. These liquid lipsticks that I found. So here's a bunch of them that I have here, and then I have another bunch over over here. I mean, I haven't used them all, and I just dropped a few. I'll just show a couple. This is the. This is how they look. They look kind of like a test tube, similar to the Sephora uh, lip glosses that are out. I'm not exactly sure what they're called, but it's kind of like in a packaging like this. And these are called MN Me Now Generation 2 Long Lasting Lip Gloss. It says lip gloss, but they do dry to somewhat matte consistency. They don't completely dry, and they are they have sort of like a stickiness to them so they're not the best quality but they were a dollar they were a dollar each or 99 cents each and most of these are actually you don't need all of them um, most of these are in like the pink range so yeah um I haven't used all of them like I said but it's I'll swatch these two just so that you can get an idea and they smell, I don't even know what they smell like to be quite honest. I mean, it's not an overpowering type of smell. It's, and, and you know, the um, liquid lipstick itself, it's not bad, it's just not great. But you know, it's, it was only a dollar, and if you don't like that stickiness, like when you go like this, they do kind of stick to your, you know, your lips do kind of stick together. So what you can do is just use some, powder some translucent powder and just kind of dab it over your lips and uh, that should help then this color so this color here is number 19 and it's basically a it's like a coral it doesn't look it looks kind of red in the camera but it's more like a coral and like I said that one's 19 this one is number 30 and it's kind of like a it's basically a nude brown this one is actually a pretty color and that is the color right there so like I said these are only a dollar they're a little bit sticky they're not the greatest formula but they're only a dollar so okay and this is item number six so it's this little lot here of makeup jars or whatever you can use it for whatever you get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, I think. Yes, you get ten. And I believe I bought the five grams. So these are five gram jars, and I actually didn't think they were going to be this big, like I mentioned before with the mix in bowl. I bought these because I wanted to um, separate my pigments and either sell them or give them away. And this is, uh, I think this is kind of big, to be quite honest. So I need to buy something even smaller than this. But these are still good to have because sometimes if you're traveling, you know, you can put some of your items that you don't want to take, like the full-size version of it. You can just throw in here. You can put powders, creams, you name it. So, or, you know, even if you want to give a sample of a of, of foundation or whatever, to a friend they like your foundation they like your I don't know moisturizer so these were I think like a dollar something I'm not I don't remember but like I said everything will be linked below corresponding to the number and there will be a direct link to all these items that I've talked about so this is what item number seven so the brush this first brush here as you can see it looks very similar to real techniques right and it says it's a setting brush and that's exactly the name of the real technique version and it 
actually says real techniques by Samantha Chapman which I didn't realize it said that because it doesn't it didn't show it in the picture but this came from China and it was only like oh, I want to say it was like a dollar and some change so clearly this is a dupe and it is actually a little different because I do already own this brush I haven't used this one yet but um, this is the original and they're almost identical the only thing is that the the color on the real one is a little darker you're not gonna be able to pick that up in the camera um oh, I can't even tell it's kind of hard to tell like if I were to mix these together I don't even know if I will remember which one's which so I'm gonna have to like probably put some type of markings so that I know but this one comes a little bit more to a point this one is a little it's more spread out but the bristles feel the same type of bristles um, is that what it's called bristles bristles something so yeah this one is spread out a little more this one's more tapered um, and then let's see in width this one's a little fatter on the top like it flares out a little bit more and this one it's a little more tapered all the way through so I mean I I just want this to have an extra setting powder for underneath my underneath my eye because this is the only one I have and it's the one that I prefer to use and I saw this on eBay and I thought it looked exactly like this so I said hey let's just try it out so I'm sure it'll work fine but I have not tried that okay so here is another brush and I think I already talked about this one in my favorites it's a bamboo brush that says Tarte and it's pretty much like a contour brush that Tarte has but this is also a knockoff jupe whatever you want to call it. it's not the original thing I paid you know a couple dollars for it and I did pay a couple dollars for shipping but I really 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 like this brush and it feels so so soft I don't have the original Tarte brush um, I've only seen it in you know online in pictures and stuff but it looks pretty identical uh, the only thing is I don't know I can't speak for you know the the brush end of it the bristles bristles whatever if they're exactly the same or if it's a little if this one's a little thicker but I actually love this I don't even feel like I have the need to go and buy the Tarte one although I might be curious and I might just buy it because I may want to compare it just for the sake of me knowing but I mean that's kind of pointless right but um yeah I like to use this for bronzing and I also uh, like to use it to blend out my my contour like if I do a really sharp contour I just blend it out with the brush and it just blends it out really 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 nice so this one is a very good buy again another brush dupe and this <laughs> wow this brush feels so luxurious and so expensive to me and it's it comes with this little sturdy brush protector um it's a silver handle and it looks very very fancy and this looks exactly like the it, Co it cosmetics version of this brush this one does not say uh it cosmetics on it and it's called an all over powder I'm at number 211 I didn't check to see if the it cosmetics one is called and it's numbered that way um, but it does say live beauty fully and that's what the it cosmetic brushes say and this feels exactly like if you ever went to Ulta and felt the um, or if you own any it cosmetic brushes they're like super super soft and they just feel so 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 nice I haven't used this yet because I wanted I really should have used it and tried it out but um it's so pretty and I don't want to get it dirty but I, I really do want to try it because it just feels so good and it's it feels like having on your face it really does so this one I think this is probably my favorite buy out of all of the brushes and all of these items that I bought because it's it was inexpensive it was not 
I can't remember the price, but I would have it linked below, but it was cheaper than the original. And it feels so well made, you know, and I wonder if this is like the actual It Cosmetics and they're just, you know, It Cosmetics is just throwing their label on it and then, you know, jacking up the price because it just feels so nice. So I was really excited to find this. So I'll link that below and hopefully it's still available. The last brush, brushes, is a set of brushes which, oh my gosh, is these brushes right here. Also a dupe for the um, Real Techniques, what were these called? metals and when I saw them I knew obviously that they were gonna be dupes Th these don't say real technique brushes to be quite honest but it has the RT for real techniques and these don't feel as fancy as that other one um, this is plastic and then this is metal but it doesn't feel as fancy and they look fancy but they are very nice brushes and I don't know these seem short to me I don't own any of the original ones they seem I was trying to compare it online I think that the original ones are longer but I'm not sure so I don't know so this is kind of like the size of them and there's two gold two rose gold and then three silver so these are for your face brushes or excuse me your eye brushes and these are face brushes the silver ones have white um, bristles the rose gold have pink and um, and then the yellow have yellow at the bottom and then white at the top um, like I said these are very nice brushes I haven't tried them but they look very nice and pretty so I will be trying them soon and that is all so I hope that you enjoy this video please stay tuned for more eBay deals and seals I'm gonna be doing more of these types of videos in the future so if you haven't already subscribed please that click that subscribe button so that you can um, be sure to see any more upcoming videos I hope you enjoyed this video and again go check out the bottom bar for the links to all these items and thank you so much for watching bye